So for my second hour alone, I just kind of walked around the food trucks for a little while. Just because I knew I heard there was a pretty big part of the culture around the area. So I just kind of wanted to check it out and just see what it was all about. So um, I kind of walked around there for a little while and really couldn't get a whole lot of people to talk. Just because, I mean, they were kind of just busy doing their own thing. Or I was trying to talk to the vendors and they were just kind of busy, you know, getting everything prepared and trying to make more money. So they didn't want to talk to some stupid American. So that didn't really work out. So um, I was just kind of walking around and thinking just what else I could do. And then I thought that the clogs, those wooden shoes, were a very big part of the culture. So I ended up just um, kind of going to a store and just checking them out and just seeing if I could get somebody to give me a little history lesson just about, you know, where they came from and why they're so obsessed with them in this region. And um, it's just part of being immersed in the culture just because it is such a big part of their culture. I mean, you just walk down the street and you see so many different shops that are selling these, so... I just thought it'd be a good idea to learn more about them and just get immersed in the culture a little bit more. And um, I ended up talking with this store vendor just for a little bit about kind of the history. And they said um, during the Roman era, much of the land in the Netherlands was covered by mud. And locals had to pump the city water out in order to dry the land. And thus began the history because they needed special shoes that would not sink underneath sea level. And they just kind of needed to float above. So I was kind of curious about that. I really didn't know anything about it. So I was just really happy that I got the chance to kind of talk about that a little bit and just kind of learn more about the history of those very important things in the culture. And um, before I came here, I was just very curious about these wooden shoes because, I mean, I think everybody's seen the stereotypes of Dutch people wearing these. So I was just kind of curious what they came from and, you know, because, I mean, they're obviously not very fashionable or comfortable. So I was just curious why they kind of stuck to this culture but now I kind of realize it related to the uh, terrain at the time and they just needed these special shoes that would just help them walk a little bit better so that's pretty interesting to learn and um yeah I just I'm really happy that I learned more because I definitely wanted to learn more about that so it was cool I kind of pushed myself to talk to some people and just kind of check out you know what the deal was basically and um for my next follow-up inquiry post, I could, um, I want to learn more about the food, because I was kind of trying to do that with the food trucks, and just, because I know food is a big part of the culture here as well, and I was just trying to figure out more just about some of the cultural foods that they are accustomed to. I know, um, strupel waffles and bitter balls are two of the big ones, so I'd like to maybe find somebody that I could talk to just about, you know, the history of those, and when those are starting to make, or when those were made and when those kind of started to pick up so that could definitely be some follow-up inquiries that I have and yeah I mean this just kind of challenged me again just because I'm not really want to go out of my comfort zone and just kind of talk to random people but you know I'm glad I kind of did and I learned something new about the clogs which is definitely a very big part of their history and um yeah I'm excited to see if I can get somebody to talk about food next time so that's about it